Hi everybody, it's Rudy for CG Tooth and today we speak about Blur in Cycles. Say bye to Granular Blur and welcome to Real Shade. Discover the Blur Note 2.0 for new possibilities. Since many years, to blur an image in Cycles, we do like that. If we look closer, we see that this blur is an optical illusion and it's actually a distortion of the image. You will say yes and we do not care seen from far it were. And I will answer to you yes, I didn't have a problem with it until I hit a snake. If you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you know that I research a best way to use Blender like a PBR procedural texture generator. After I made this texture and this, I wanted to make this texture. And here, the classic blue ray begin to emerge as a problem. My mouse need to follow my joints and overflow on the tiles. So, I took my tiles mask, blurred it and used it in mix RGB. Easy, but didn't work. Wow. My first impulse was to add color run to strengthen a white area. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't work because I didn't have a blurred image but distorted image. So I didn't add any gray. It's a perfect black and white image. Color ramp has no effect. So I start to I start to research how make the same effect like a real blur. Make shades. The solution is very simple but not user friendly at first. Just do an average between few blurred images with different seeds. It's the same process in photography of astronomy to reduce noise or in Blender when you increase the number of samples. We made a group of nodes and that looks like this. This node group isn't user friendly. It's a nightmare to reuse it. We need to open the group and change one by one all image texture nodes. Well, for easy reuse, I made a plug and play node which we can add with classic shortcut Ctrl A in a node editor. Just select your image and play. This node could be achieved with shader node extra add-on by Secrup and few additional code. The blur made by this node includes shades, like a real blur and we can do something where impossible before, like use it with color ramp. And in my case, this node allowed me to finish my texture. In the description, you will find a link to my blog, cgthooth.com, where you can find all resources to use it yourself. Subscribe for more tutorial, like and share for help more people. See you next time and do not forget, we grow tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.